every one of them down. That's a full team kill. Right. So is that? He's looking for third. He's oh. gonna get it. Sir. Against Kinger now in a one versus two. Once again, he finds one. He finds the second. He's still alive. Can he go in? Oh, oh my goodness. God. He's gonna go bar down and give Saints the lead again. Hello, Saints Nation, and welcome to today's broadcast. My name is Jackson Pride Brown, joined alongside John Billbangs Odima. We got week five of the NACE Star League, Rocket League uh, League here today, and it is going to be your St. Clair Saints Lovely. versus Université Laval. And uh, yeah, lots of leagues there, but uh, yeah, NACE Star League. Um, Saints have been very, very successful here so mm -hmm. far. Going to be 4 and 0 against a 1 and 3 University Laval roster. How you feeling about this one, John? Well, you know, based on the power rankings, how the rosters are looking, how the records are looking, I think. St. Clair definitely going to be the favorite in this one, but you never know. I mean, it's definitely a chance here. We did see them lose on stream against Stockton. Uh, that was in CRL. This is a so slightly different league, slightly different competition, but you never know. We might see some fight out of UL here at some point. So we are seeing the typical CRL gold starting lineup come through here tonight, consisting of Spoots, Jay, and Comp. Uh, this exact roster was the one that fell to Stockton last night, just as you were saying. So they are looking to bounce back here against Université Laval today. And uh, I'm very excited to see how they can perform with these three in the lineup. It is going to be a, some pressure now from UL, but quickly deferred for St. Clair. Now Comp looking to translate this into an offensive play, coming in hot and ready, looking for the double touch. Not going to work out. And that is going to be some great defense. Yeah, definitely some good early pressure by UL on the side of St. Clair. I definitely was expecting this to be St. Clair out of the gates. Swing in here, pass towards the middle. Comp not going to be able to put that through, but uh, UL actually doing a pretty good job on the defensive side here. And honestly, I, I was definitely expecting some more. I mean, obviously, coming off of that 3 0 loss on stream is definitely very tough. And I feel like St. Clair still feeling that one a little bit here, but hopefully, we see them a lot of times. They are a little bit slower in the first game, they start warming up, and then towards the second, third game is where they really start turning it on and start finding some goals in rapid succession. This little nice little passing play will get sent over to Comp here now, but Comp is not going to be fully playing off of that one. It is now going to be sitting right in front of UL's net. Comp going to be coming through once again to keep the play alive, and our first minute 40 going to go scoreless, and honestly, I wasn't really expecting this. I was expecting a lot of pressure coming right out the gates, but a nice little tap there from Jay. The defense from UL, though, going to be too strong, remaining at zeros. Yeah, definitely a couple chances now. The last minute or so has been all pressure from St. Clair towards the Laval net. Haven't been able to quite put it in the back there yet, but they definitely have gotten themselves a couple chances here. Comp with a chance, but it will be deflected by Medi there. And a couple of demos coming through as well here in the last couple of seconds. It's getting a little bit rougher here. A couple bumps coming through for both sides as well. And I definitely think these players are starting to warm up to each other. We should see some more goals here sometime soon. Yeah, you see all these players just kind of trying to adapt to the opponent's play style. St. Clair, though, with lots of time on attack here in these past couple minutes or so, as we are approaching the halfway marker in this game. Still scoreless. Comp, though, going to try to set up his teammate Spoods. And just not enough boost, not enough to get onto that play. And is now going to be just playing for the defense. Jay going to send in a shot. Comp's here to follow it up, but the touch is not going to work out. UL is quick to defend. And now it's Jay trying to get another center through, but not going to work out. Now Spoods is the one trying to get a center or something uh, to set up a play for the rest of his team but it's not working out too well the UL defense has been very strong here today yeah they definitely haven't been any hold up nice save there by Pledge Swine able to get the back clip through Galzi able to clear it off to the side and despite all this offensive pressure that St. Clair has been putting on they haven't been able to find the back of the night quite yet back of the net quite yet haven't been able to actually put that one through comp with a chance towards the middle giving it for his teammate there Spoods with a shot on net that's gonna be it. off the crossbar Jay gonna put it back towards the middle give Spoods another shot at this one but it's gonna go wide he will miss there, and that is going to be a 0-0 game still. Two minutes remaining, so a lot of time. But uh, St. Clair, a lot of just not taking advantage of these good chances that they're getting. There were so many opportunities there that were all just quickly denied from the post of UL uh, that St. Clair really needs to find the back of the net on, or else it could really hurt them here in this series. It is going to be a very aggressive passing play up to comp, but the pressure was just a little bit too strong there from UL to make that one work out. Jay dropping it down for comp, but once again, these plays are just getting quickly intercepted by Université Laval, and it's just really, really hurting St. Clair right now. It's going to provide them to get no really openings. They're trying to set up these fancy goals. They just need to shoot. Yeah, I think the thing for me too is there have some nice setups. You're shot going to go on wow. net. Comp going to find the top shelf there. Able to score the first goal of the game for St. Clair. Able to just slip it in past the goalie. And uh, a good start here for St. Clair. A lot of offensive pressure finally paying off here with a minute and nine remaining. Yeah, the angle just looking beautiful there for Comp to find that top shelf just like you were saying. 
And to take a lead this late in the game has so much value. There's only 65 seconds left on the clock, and St. Clair will have this advantage here now. However, if they can't get too, too comfortable. One goal is only that what separates these two teams. All it takes is, uh, you know, one missed rotation or something along those lines, and we have ourselves a tie game just like this. This is an offensive opportunity for UL here now. Spoods will deny, but quickly flick back. This is getting all set up for two saves. Gonna come through from St. Clair. Jay with a big one. Now Spoods will take this into UL. Well zone. Good defense there, and they've been on the front foot for so long in this game, but we've proven that their defense is just as good as their offense. They're able to shut them out, shut down the kind of the lone opportunity that Laval's had in the last couple of minutes. So 30 seconds remaining. We see some good offense pressure now here from Laval, which looking for a setup towards the middle. Fletch Swan going to get some contact there, but will be cleared out for the moment. Comp going to go over one, still going to dribble this ball up to the corner, but Medi going to throw it towards the middle. Jay going to take a shot on net here over the top. Will be cleared out for the moment, but. Laval needs to get this in the offensive zone here. A chance to go towards the net. Going to be bounced over here. Shot by Medi, and it's going to wow. find the back of the net there. Able to slip that through both defenders. And with nine seconds remaining, we got a tie game here. Now, there's not a lot of time left on the clock, but UL managed to still find the back of the net and to tie this one up. One a piece here now, and uh, this gives us probably a good chance of overtime unless we can see a very aggressive play come through right off the kickoff that is going to be galsy trying to find it but spoods will come in with the demo like you were saying this play getting a little bit more gritty and a little bit more rough here in this matchup now with only a second left on the time it's until the ball hits the ground we are going to be sent to overtime jay cop and spoods trying to win the first game here in ot yeah, a lot, a lot of offensive pressure, especially in those last two, three minutes by St. Clair. It did end up netting them a goal, but nothing more than that. And UL took their, they only had a couple chances there to find the back of that, but they were able to take advantage of it. And that's the key, right, is being able to take those small windows of opportunity that you have and turn them into goals. And UL doing an excellent job of that. St. Clair just finding a couple chances. Might be able to get back. Nice shot going to come through from Jay. Going to go over top. Can he get it to a player? Ooh. Oh, off the crossbar. It's on the line. It will be poked out there. Spoon's going to go back. And nice save. A wow. beautiful defense there so far for UL here in this overtime, saving them and keeping them alive in game number one. If St. Clair loses this game, they're going to be thinking back on that play. The ball was like 80% into the goal line, but it was just quickly denied there from UL before the full thing could cross. And now St. Clair still racking up near a minute of overtime. And now on the defense, they're going to have to find something to turn things around here as Medi is going to be in here challenging Comp now. Comp going to flick it over, now actually taking it back for himself, setting up for Jay, a shot on the net. Not going to go. Pledge Swine able to save. A minute gone here in OT. Shot going to come through for Jay. Just going to be a little dribbler towards the middle. Going to look for a tip, but not able to get that one quite on net yet. Clear looking to come through here, but St. Clair just keeps throwing themselves in the middle here to disrupt these clearing attempts and to just push, push them off from the zone. Oh, Jay with a shot on net. Just going to be outside, though. St. Clair finding some more offensive pressure here, getting some more opportunities, but just haven't been able to find the net. Such good defense from Laval so far in this game. Just hasn't really afforded them. Any good chances? Shot going to come through here. Galzi going to put it on net, but Comp with the save. Yeah, it's going to be some very big plays coming from everybody here on each side as Comp is going to be right in front of his own net trying to take this one away. But Spoods will be the one to uh, just cool cue it kind of right out of here into the offensive zone. Comp going to be up in the sky, dropping it down. It is going to be stopped out, though, from Medi. A shot off the post. Not going to be good enough there from Jay. And now Galzi trying to clear. Spoods trying to keep the play alive. Jay going to be in midfield fighting for it. St. Clair got to watch themselves. They can't get too aggressive here now and give up their own opportunities just like that. It's now a 2 on one all up to Spoods. Spoods just trying to slow down the play to allow his teammates to come in. Will collect some boost. Now trying to go for the aerial play. Off the backboard. Double touch. Not going to go. And that is going to be St. Clair still keeping this one in overtime. Yeah, just haven't been able to hit the back net. The woodwork denying them so many times throughout this game. Just haven't been able to put it all the way through. Spoods with a chance here. Going to try and go top corner. Nice save there. But that is going to leave everyone open. That's going to be Jay finding the back of the net in overtime. Two minutes and 28 seconds in. He's able to finally find the back of the net for St. Clair. They will take in one in two to one fashion. Okay, University Laval, I see you. I see you, one and three, and um, apparently an underdog in this game, and uh, definitely showing it here. They are in here this game to compete. They are going to force the OT to, like, what was that, two and a half, mm -hmm. three minutes there after that first one, something that we really were not expecting going into this matchup. Uh, a Saints gold roster coming through, or sorry, Saints roster as a whole, going to come through after being four and one in CRL and going up against a one and three team in Nace. They really weren't expected to be tested yeah. like this. Now only having a two to 
in one game, I think that UL defense is really throwing a wrench in their plans. Yeah, for sure. You saw there's so many opportunities that St. Clair had, so many shots that went through throughout that whole game. And St. Clair, obviously, I think the woodwork denied them a lot of times. The crossbars, the posts definitely had their number. But, I mean, you put enough balls towards the net, one of them will eventually go in. And that's kind of what St. Clair did. You kept taking opportunities. Yes, you were getting denied. And all credit to the Laval defense, it was absolutely incredible. And it was able to make a lot of good saves. But eventually, they were able to find their opportunity. An unfortunate triple commit there on that save on the goal line meant that Jay had a free shot on net. And, uh, I mean, for St. Clair, you're going into game number two. I definitely think maybe you're going into the series thinking, you know, we're playing against a 1-3 team and Nace is not going to be a real challenge for us. But you, they proved yeah. that they are going to be a real challenge. And St. Clair are going to have to watch their step in the next couple of games. 100%. One thing I am really looking to see here now in this game number two is to see some more gritty play style come through from St. Clair. It seems as if that UL defense is really causing a rut into their plans. And if they can break this one up a little bit and just separate the defense, knock some goalies out of the way, do whatever they can in that regard, they could really have a better shot of closing out this game. Um, as well as maybe utilizing that backboard a little bit more. Playing these rebounds a little bit stronger. Yes, it requires more of an offensive pressure, um, but I think they can risk that. Their defense has been shown to be fairly well. They know that they can rotate back on this team of Université Laval. I think firing away more shots on the net and just firing, 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 keeping the offensive pressure going will really help them here a lot in this game. Yeah, I agree with you. And I, and I think for Laval, it is, you know, play the same way you did. Because honestly, I really think that defensive style worked for them because they only had a couple of offensive chances. But realistically, the two offense chances they had, one was a really close shot off the post and the other one was a goal. So take your chances where you can find them and try and score some goals because that's really was the difference maker. The fact that your defense was so strong, they were able to kind of, you know, get you into overtime and almost win you the game. That's exactly the case. It's the defense here in this series, which is going to make or break everything with a, only a three-goal game. Let's see if this one gets a little bit more offensively pressured. It is going to be a battle around midfield here right now, sent back over towards Comp. Comp will quickly scoop that one up and now try to carry it in all by him lonesome. He's going to get a dribble off, but it's not going to work out. Spoods will be the one to pick this up here now. That's actually all alone. Oh, oh my smokes. goodness. That was disgusting. Spoods off the roof. An amazing aerial play by him. Absolutely unreal. A beautiful flip reset. Finds the top shelf. That is a high quality goal for that player. Unreal stuff from Spoots. I mean, when he was going into that play, I was really not expecting it to translate into anything but maybe a setup for somebody else, a rebound, something like that. But no, he's actually going to connect on the back then. He's looking to do it here again, carrying this one through, but it will not go as Comp is going to be a player now to dribble it up towards the center and Pledge Swine will have an opening. Jay, though, will cut right in front of him to stop it. But now we have Medi here. Can be stopped by Spoods. Spoods setting it up into the air for Comp. Comp going to deke out Galzi. And this is now going to be dropped in off the top crossbar, but it's not going to go. Yeah, and I think the last game, too, didn't really point this out, but St. Clair had a lot of chances where they would pass it towards the middle to set up a nice play, but the third man or the second man or whoever they were setting up for was just one step behind, just a second too slow. And a lot of times it did make the difference. You saw them, you saw the defense from Laval able to take advantage of it to be able to clear that ball out, just weren't able to actually push that into a, into a goal. And they're doing a really good job of it here, too. They're a step up on the defensive side for St. Clair. And I mean, Spoods with an amazing individual play able to get by. But St. Clair going to have to find some good team plays to order, in order to give themselves some more opportunities. That's exactly it, right? I mean, these setups, you can see the theory is there. They're trying out these things, but it's just not connecting onto the other car or, the you know, the person they're passing to not in the right spot, the people aren't centered in the right time. And it's just these little minor mistakes. It seems as if the scrims are kind of like vanishing from St. Clair's brain right now, but they are still up one nothing. but that is nothing to get comfortable with, right? We completely reiterated this constantly. And uh, it's going to be St. Clair still trying to keep the offensive pressure going, trying to build a multi-goal advantage for themselves. Medi will be looking to clear this one through, but actually, this is a good set for St. Clair. This is two on one onto the goalie. A flick over will make it go to the top corner, but going to hit the post off here. Now, Medi just dribbling in front of the net. It's going to be UL just trying to get this one out of their zone. They're doing a really, really good job, St. Clair, finding the suppression offense, being able to keep forcing it back into UL zone. And UL, you, you can kind of space it out. You are getting a little bit of room to breathe sometimes, but realistically, you see it's just trying to get it away from the net, trying to get mm -hmm. it clear to the other side. They're not taking it themselves and controlling it and putting it up the field. They're just trying to get it away from their own net. And yes, you can play that well when it's, you know, when you're up a goal or when you're even, but when you're down a goal, you have to start taking the ball up yourselves and finding some of your own offensive pressure. So St. Clair kind of feels it a little bit more when the ball goes in the side. 
That's exactly what I was just about to touch on, is that, you know, uh, yeah, they're doing a very good job of, you know, limiting St. Clair to very minimal goals and opportunities here, but you're not having many of those opportunities or goals yourself. Spood's going to come through with a nice little pinch off the ground. It's not going to work out too, too nicely. Those Medi will be able to come through and make the save. Pledge Swine and Medi trying to turn this one into a goal here. Now, this is what we need to see more of from UL, but look how quick St. Clair was able to take this one back. And now Comp is going to be dribbling that one through. The defense will be there for UL, but they need to do more of this. With only 90 seconds on the clock, let's see what happens. It cannot be understated. Oh, shot going to go on net. Galzi going to find the first goal of the game. For Laval here, going to make it a 1-1 tie with 92 seconds remaining. And that's exactly what we wanted to see them do, right? Take the ball up yourself, get it to capitalize on the small mistakes that St. Clair is making and find a goal. In both games, they've been able to find it. Not too much offensive pressure, but when they get their opportunities, they seize them and they score goals with it. So you all just waits until last minute <laughs> to score their goals or something like that. I don't know. But it is going to be another last minute scored here in the last 90 seconds or so. As it's now going to be another one of those situations where the next goal scored in this game will have such an advantage on your opponent with it being, you know, very little time oh, left on the clock. Cool. And there it is. Pledge Swine could have knocked that one in from midfield. Rotations a little bit off there for St. Clair. Comp is trying to go for that play. Jay was up getting boost. And Jay not able to rush back in time. I don't know where Spoods really was during that play, but it's going to be the side of UL able to take a late lead. This is very concerning if you're now from the side of St. Clair. Yeah, I definitely think St. Clair letting up on the gas a little bit on the offensive side and Laval saying, okay, we'll take that ball. We'll take it up ourselves. And you now again, they're, they're finally able to take this ball up and do stuff with it. And it, it turns out so well for them. And now they can go back to that defensive mode they were in, just play the three man back, play this dump and chase ball, where as soon as you get it, just clear it out to the side, clear it out to the other end of the field and then force St. Clair to try and make plays themselves and it's really working for them so far and I really like the change up 48 seconds left can St. Clair find a goal in response here comp with a shot wow. and then he will be able to find that goal in response here tie up the game 2-2 so we are going to see more goals scored here in this one than we did in our game one as the aggressiveness is coming on a little bit stronger. I think UL, they took that lead when they were up 2-1. That's when you can focus on their defense. But they got a couple of goals on the board. Then they're like, oh, I really like this. I really like this. And they went to get a little bit more aggressive. And St. Clair will be able to find a goal in result of that. Now tying this one up 2-2, I'm going to say here once again, whoever finds this next goal will have another massive advantage. This time with only 30 seconds on the clock, a goal will mean a lot more in this matchup as Spoo is looking to carry this one and will be stopped out on the goal line area but now it's going to be comp dragging this one and jay going to be around the center but ul quick to stop that play ul is having such a good game here shot going to come through going to be cleared up for a second spoods a shot on net going to go just wide there off the deflection 15 seconds left it is in the laval end can st Clair find the back to the net or can laval push this to an overtime jay with a shot on net going to go just over trying to find a teammate in the middle there spoods an opportunity going to put it on net he will find it wow Spoo <laughs> scores a goal here with five seconds left and that is going to be the leading one that is exactly what St. Clair needed. Uh, I mean, hey, that is exactly what they needed indeed. Now, if you are from the side of Université Laval, you have five seconds here. You have to win the kickoff, and you have to translate it right into an offensive play. Um, you have to get the ball. Okay, now that you're in this situation, you have to keep the ball off the ground. This could be the opportunity, but no, not enough boost on the play. It is going to drop. St. Clair going to squeak by with another game win. But I will, I got to give so much credit to Université Laval because they are really testing St. Clair here in these games. 100%. And, and I mean, this is the, how many times have we seen Spoots clutch up so hard for St. Clair in these last couple of minutes? You saw it here, saw it in their last series, they played two, and he just has these key times where he pops up, finds these incredible goals, and is able to clutch it up for St. Clair, find those last second ones, and Laval gave him a run for their money, and you talked about it right at about the 40-second mark when they scored that second goal. You said, okay, this is the time you have to go back on defense, and you get into your defensive shell that you played so well in this series, and trying to stop St. Clair's attack because it's been so strong, and it's so hard not to just play with the momentum that you have but we are going to get right into game number three actually so both of these teams ready to go after an exciting game number two and should be interesting to see what game three holds that yeah, should be very, very interesting indeed here. And it's now up to University of Laval to reverse sweep here at this point in time. Jay, what an angle. Not going to go bar down, but quickly rebounded for Cop. A 1-0 lead very early in this one. Only 19 seconds through and St. Clair will find it. I got to give credit to Jay though. That was a very nasty angle. If it did end up going in, it would have been a beautiful play. But Cop able to knock that one through. 1-0 for St. Clair. And... We haven't seen a goal this quick in our yeah. series yet, eh, John? I was going to say a very, very early goal here for St. Clair. It feels 
detrimental for Laval because they've been reliant so much on their defense, able to kind of stop St. Clair's first couple attacks for the first few minutes. And then when you get towards that two one minute mark, that is where you kind of open up, find your opportunities. But you're down 2-0 in the series right now. So you need to start going up on the offense, finding your own opportunities and being able to put balls in the back of the net because St. Clair, we've seen it so far in the series. Yes, you can keep stopping them, but they will be able to slip one in at some point. Shot going to come through. Spoots with a nice save. Rebound going to be stopped again off the crossbar. Third one going to come in. Going to be deflected off to the side, and Jay going to be able to pick that up midfield. So a couple chances there for Laval to put him back in the net, but now it's on the other side. Spoots going to be deflected away, and you know Laval fighting for their way back into this series. They're down 2-0. Like I said, they need to find goals here soon or else they might have a rough series ahead of them. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the series count is the bad thing. Being down one nothing in a game with this much time on the clock, not as much of a concern. But having two more maps already behind St. Clair as well is what really makes this one a lot scarier. And St. Clair is not slowing down their offensive pressure by any means necessary. Actually, Galaxy with an opening and will connect onto a nice passing play there from Medi. Will open this one up, tying us a one to one. UL able to connect nicely. That's right from midfield. Galsy there to take the passing play. It's going to go bottom left. Jay once again just right behind the ball. He's been so close on some of these defensive plays that he's just not able to get there in time. Now, a lot more of an eventful game here in our first minute and a half or so. Yeah, and I like the response that Laval has, right? Every time St. Clair, it seems like all these, oh, shot can I come through? A nice save by Comp there. Rebound possibility. Medi going to deflect into the corner here. Going to be cleared out, but. Every time that St. Clair scores a goal, Laval has a response for them. And, you know, the last couple of games, it has been St. Clair able to find that final one. But one of these games, oh, that's dangerous miss, ooh. but a nice clear out of the middle of the net there by the Laval defense. And it's just been St. Clair able to get the last lap, but there's definitely been so much fight from Laval. But Spoots going to find a goal in front of the net there. That is going to be St. Clair taking the lead here with just so under two minutes left. So big from Comp for him to drop this one down. He could have tried to go for a double touch or something like that, deke it out abo above that defender. But no, it actually is going to be a passing play right down to Spoots, and Spoots was able to connect on it. UL had to hit that ball as it was dropping, but it's just not going to go. And this is now going to be the game, the lead regained here for St. Clair. Maybe another on the goal line. Not going to go. Pledge Swine and Medi to save the day with a demo and a save is now going to keep this one a one goal game. Spoots going to get a demo off to answer back on the bed. Pledge swine this is getting a little gritty here now john as it's only one goal that separates these two teams spoots gonna pass that one over to comp comp gonna try to keep it in the corner but no jay will grab it here now sending it up on the field galsy gonna pick this one up but it's just bouncing around midfield here right now medi gonna be the first one to connect and ul back onto the attack ul putting up such a fight here in game number three they want to try and reverse sweep this series and they are down a goal here, so they still have some work to do. Oh, Jay with a missed opportunity there. Couldn't quite put it in the back of the net. Ball still going to be in a dangerous spot. Spoo to the shot on net, but going to be deflected away by Medi here. Comp with the pass back towards the middle. Jay with a shot on net off the crossbar. And Galsy can be able to clear this one out in a second. But St. Clair, a lot of attacks here in the last three minutes. And really, this is their chance to try and take this game away. That's exactly it, but a great opportunity for Medi will be denied from Jay. He's been behind on a few of these defensive plays, but not on that one. He was able to shut this one down. It's now going to be translated back into this UL corner. Medi has been all over both sides of the ball all day today, and you can see it constantly coming through here. UL needing this game more than anything. It is going to be Spoods keeping this one alive over towards midfield. Maybe a shot going to come in, but Galsy was able to take that 50-50 win, and it's going to now be dropped right in front of St. Clair. Net Medi going to try to force that one through. Pledge Swine with the rebound, but all three members of St. Clair will be in the net to stop that play. We have less than 90 seconds left on the clock here. UL needs a goal to keep their series alive. Ball still in St. Clair's end. They can't get a good clear on this one. Galsy with a chance here to go from the angle. Off the crossbar. Not able to put that one in the back of the net. Jay going to try and clear this one out, but it will be passed towards the middle. Medi going to miss that one, though. It means it will go towards their own end. Spoods with a shot on net. Double touch. Not going to be there. Jay with a shot. Not going to be able to put that one back in that either. A minute remaining. St. Clair up by one goal. Can they keep this lead and end the series here with a sweep? Or will there be an overtime UL can score? St. Clair has to watch how aggressive they're getting. They're really putting a lot of offensive pressure onto UL here right now. But with only 45 seconds on the clock and with a lead, you really want to have someone at least back up midfield to play these defending plays. And UL coming in with a few shots. St. Clair defense going to be there, though, to stop this from coming through. Now 30 seconds left, John. This is going to get a little close here. It's all up to Jay on the defense. Will stop this play, setting it up in the air to let his defenders come through and help out. Comp going to be here now. 20 seconds. It's all on to UL at this point. 
20 seconds remaining. Can UL find a tying goal here? Will St. Clair complete, complete the sweep here? Pledge Swine with a chance towards the net there. Will be deflected out by Comp. 11 seconds. Galzi putting it towards the middle there. Not going to have a teammate to deflect it though. Nice job by Jay to clear that one out. Six seconds remaining. Pledge Swine getting it towards the net. Try and get it to his teammate there. Pass towards the middle. But Jay going to be here to disrupt and that is going to be it. St. Clair take game number 3-2-1 and will sweep the series 3-0 and a really, really entertaining series. Honestly, like every single game, a one goal difference. Like it was so close throughout that entire thing. How is you, uh, UL one and four? I have no, I, I, I have mean, no they t just tested arguably one, one of the top three teams in the CRL yeah. right now. And you just forced, like you said, one goal games in every single one of those. This series, it might say 3-0, but UL definitely yeah. put up a stronger fight than 100%. what this series score represents. Yeah, I definitely think that was one of the better, like one of the best defenses I've seen in all of Nace. Like that, those attacks that Sinclair was coming with, absolutely insane, crazy shots and some better saves that Laval had. And, you know, St. Clair ended up coming out on top 3-0, but every single game a one goal difference. And we had an overtime in game number one and, and you know, some late goals scored in game number two would add some drama to it. And I think... I was not expecting this kind of scoreline coming in. I definitely, well, I, the scoreline for the series, but like the scoreline for the games, I definitely yeah. thought was going to be more St. Clair favored. But UL proved us wrong. A really, really good series by them and well played overall by all their players. Uh, yeah, really well played for sure. So this will be St. Clair now advancing to 5-0 and here in Nace. So they are looking to just end off this regular season flawlessly. I believe there's like nine weeks or something along those lines. So we are slowly yeah. like over the halfway there. marker here of this Nace Star League. Um, and the Saints just continuously putting up numbers here today um there was a tough loss in the CRL to Stockton but this is a good way to bounce back here and Definitely. they are looking to continue bouncing back moving forward um University of Laval though or sorry University of Laval uh, I really got to show some love though because once again like you cannot take that loss badly like yeah. that was such a good game and it really gives me confidence in their roster moving yeah. forward for the remainder of Nace I really think like if they had a couple more bounces go their way and I think definitely for St. Clair, if they had some of their bounces that they got weren't as great, you could have seen it go 3-0 the other way. We'd still like, be casting 100%. Right yeah. We could be the casting, or it could have been a 3-0 Laval, so I definitely think just not their day today. St. Clair taking it 3-0, really, really well-played series by both teams, and, you know, St. Clair going up now 5-0, and, and the Nace is, is massive. Yes, but with that being said, we're not done with Nace as a whole here tonight. We are going to be moving on to Nace Call of Duty just after this. That is going to be your St. Clair Saints versus Western University here today. So guys, make sure you're staying tuned in for that one. We are going to turn the stream off here for a minute or two before we actually do cut to that one. But before we do so, this is going to be the giveaway. You guys have a few minutes here now before we end the stream, I do believe. Uh, so you guys can get two entries actually tonight. So if you are watching, enter the, the giveaway here right now. It takes 3,000 channel points. You can earn channel points from interacting with the chat. The winner will be drawn on monday february 28th so guys make sure you can enter before then the winner will get to pick one piece of st Clair apparel uh from our acquire.ca backslash saints shop uh and with that being said if you guys can't wait for the giveaway here on monday you guys can buy some merch here today we have jerseys t-shirts crew necks um hoodies flags masks anything you guys can imagine all going to be at acquire.ca backslash saints so once again acquire.ca backslash saints if you guys are interested in any st Clair merch that being said though john you want to talk a little bit about our sponsors here real quick i'm talking about our sponsors i'm talking about Crunchyroll, our newest sponsor here. You can get a 14-year premium trial free at Crunchyroll.com slash Saints. Essentially, the Netflix of anime, as we lovingly call them over here. Uh, you can get any kind of anime you want. Go check them out. 14-day premium trial at Crunchyroll.com slash Saints. want to thank our other sponsors as well. Tim Horton, Subway, the SRC, and St. Clair College Alumni Association. You've been with us forever. We appreciate you. And, uh, yeah, that's going to pretty much wrap it up here. St. Clair going to take this 3-0 in NACE Rocket League. But we'll be back at 9 o'clock for some NACE Call of Duty against Western, so a good old Ontario matchup. It should Both be good. Both teams are flawless, I think. Yeah, Ooh. so 4-0 and 3-0 and uh, for that matchup there, so very excited to hop into that one. Stay tuned in. Go grab a drink, grab a bite to eat, do whatever you need to do. My name is Jax the Bright Brown, joining alongside John, Bill Bang, Zudima, and we'll be right back with you guys around 9 p.m.